Hello and welcome to Creative Sweet TV with Mike McHugh. Well, what another fantastic introduction to Creative Suite Episode 7. They all said we'd never make it to Episode 7, but here we are. I've been working away here. Every now and then on the show, I like to do a bit of a technology review as well as a Creative Suite tip. And I tell you what, no one loves a gadget more than me, and I've got a new one. I've ditched my old microphone and replaced it with this little unit that you see on the desk in front of me. As a matter of fact, I apologize for any sound hiccups as I pick this up and show you. This is the new blue microphone snowball. Gary Barker from The Age put me onto this one. This is a classic. If you're thinking of doing your own podcast, this is a USB professional microphone. It is tip top. Anyway, that's what we're going to be using from now on. So if you hear a difference in the sound, it's going to be great. So I'm just getting used to it. I'll probably get the settings a little bit wrong for this first one, uh, but hopefully we'll get that right. I'm changing my set around a little bit. I'm making it look a little bit more casual. Look, I've even got a cup of coffee here. <laughs> so, anyway, it's looking good. Creative Suite. Sweet. Seven. We're up to. This episode, I had a request from Pete Richies. Hi, Pete. Uh, in, at From Fairfax. A financial review up there, Pete. Bit of a high flyer. We love Pete. He's a Photoshop just Grammy, he loves Photoshop. His suggestion was, Mike, I need some quick tips. Real one-liners. I want you to put a couple of one-liners out there. And incidentally, I'm going to get Pete to do a be a guest tipper any day now. Uh, he's got plenty of suggestions for me. I'm going to throw them in uh, for him as we go. So this podcast is going to be dedicated to quick tips. Bang, 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 bang. I'm going to do a few. I don't know how many. I haven't recorded them yet. I'm going to do it as we go. Let's get in to the first tip now. And what better place to start, well, than Illustrator. Here we go. Ooh, palettes, palettes everywhere. What are we to do? Well, layers palette here. We've got gradient palette, color palettes. And if I move these out of the way, appearance palettes, all the rest of it. How do we get rid of some of these palettes in Illustrator, not have to bother about them? Well, a little known fact is, if you want to change the fill or the stroke or something like that, there are some very sh neat shortcuts to some of these palettes. If you have a look in the control strip at the top, I'll zoom in here and I'll use my mouse pose to highlight anywhere where it's blue with an underline, much like a little web link. If you click that, that is a pop down palette character paragraph, fill, all of that kind of stuff. So if you're looking for a palette, look no further than the control strip. <laughs> Bloody hell, that was amazing. Little palettes popping up everywhere. Who would have who would have thunk it? Tell you what, I forgot to mention before, I've got some, if you're in Sydney or if you're in Australia or anywhere and you feel like going to Sydney, I've got some fantastic Training classes coming up for Illustrator, Photoshop, InDesign, and Go Live with Fuji Xerox in Sydney at the Fuji Xerox Training Centre. So if you go to my website, I'll put the thing down the bottom, www.mcu.com.au. If you get along there, there's details about the Adobe Training together with McQ Digital Graphics and Fuji Xerox Australia. There are going to be some great classes, hands-on training classes, so please get along. They're great value. I'm going to be speaking. I'm going to be taking the classes there. It's going to be an awful lot of fun. Okay, the next tip. How about we do... Pete's going to love this one. This one's for you, Pete. This is one of Pete's favorite things. I know he did mention in his email. Let's go with Photoshop. Okay, the first little tip when you're doing a path in Photoshop is click the little button up the top for drawing a path. It says paths there. Now, when I click and draw a path in Photoshop, you'll notice the little handles follow me around. It's because I've got 
rubber band mode switched on. Now, if you're a rubber bander, you'll always be a rubber bander. A lot of people say, oh, I don't know rubber band. They don't know where it is. Why wouldn't you use it? Have a look at the little path following me around. It makes it so much easier for me to draw a really neat path with rubber band mode off. You don't know what you're doing. You're clicking, you're missing, you're making an awful mess of it. That's rubber band mode. What a great little tip. My grandfather taught me how to use rubber band mode. It's been around for that long. Has indeed. Tell you what, if you're looking for some great InDesign tips, I'm just about to show you one of a really great InDesign tip. But why wouldn't you have a look at this? This is the InDesign, uh, best of InDesign, how to wow with InDesign. That's with myself and Wayne Rankin, how to wow with InDesign, best of InDesign CS2 DVD. Here's the InDesign tip. It's a cracker. You're talking about a groovy layout. I mean, this is the grooviest that it gets. Here's a little bit of a, a newsletter. This is from the How to Wow with InDesign CS2 book that myself and Wayne Rankin wrote. Anyway, there's some surf and stuff there. That's my surfboard there, by the way, folks. The old George Rice, uh, eight foot six stubby nose rider. It's a classic. Anyway, that's for another day. Here's the tip. If you're working away doing some text here, you know, well, everyone knows, I assume that everyone knows, you've got to switch between the character controls at the top here, the top here, the character controls, and the paragraph trolls. What if you're sort of working away down the bottom here, you're double clicking, you're triple clicking, you're doing all sorts of things with your text, you want to switch between character and paragraph controls, here's the shortcut, and we'll highlight it on the Mac. Apple Option 7 on the PC, Control Alt 7 switches you between character and paragraph. Character and paragraph. Character and paragraph. By the way, photography. <laughs> hey guys, there's still no winner for our our latest competition that we had to win the very special Russell Brown Show CD of tips and tutorials. Hi, Russell. Russell promised he's going to make a guest appearance on my show at some point or another when he gets a free minute. Russ, come on, man. Get in there. The question was, of course, what on earth does Dragon Tail mean? If you know the answer to what Dragon Tail or Space Monkey is, what is it? Get onto my website, www.mcu.com, and you could be the proud owner of this quality item. I'll send it out to you if you get the answer to that. Righto, I've got two back-to-back -back tips for you. One now from the Adobe Bridge, and the other one, or the last one, is... I think it's just the Adobe Bridge. And that's it. So, here it comes right now. Hey guys, are you working with the Adobe Bridge? If you're not, then you are insane. Sorry. <laughs> you are. If you're not using the Adobe Bridge, you are insane. Here's a red hot tip. If you are going to burn a whole bunch of photographs to a CD, particularly nice photographs like uh, this one, then you might want to consider going to Tools and Cache and exporting the cache. That means... Next time, when you go ahead and load that CD in, if you burn them to the CD, you export the cache to the CD, you burn the CD, you load the CD in, then all of those thumbnails and all of that cachey goodness is going to be right there on the CD, which means less time waiting and more time having fun. Well, that is definitely a sweet tip. Well, sweet is definitely the word. That was a... Great tip. And well, you know what? I think we need an extra bonus tip. I'm gonna I'm gonna chuck an acrobat one in, in a minute. Remember though, if you're looking for any on-site training, you can get onto me through my website at www.mcu.com.au. I'll put the web address down the bottom there. Get on there. There's also our my Creative Suite podcast page where I'll encourage you to go ahead and put some comments on there. Tell me what sort of tips you want to see, and I'll chuck them on. We're not going to have enough time for my new section. That's ridiculous this week. As a matter of fact, I didn't really like it all that much anyway. We might not see it again. If you want it, it was on last week.